Good evening, and welcome to the Canadian Staff Band's Cornucopia Concert, a celebration of Harvest Thanksgiving. Given all that 2020 has thrown our way this year, this is certainly a different Thanksgiving season, but we can still be very grateful for all that God has given us and all he is doing in our lives. I'm personally grateful for the opportunity to bring the smaller groups of the Canadian Staff Band together under very strict safety protocols and present a concert like this through the technology of YouTube. So we hope that you will enjoy this, we hope you'll be blessed by it, and we hope it gives you pause to be grateful and recognize God's faithfulness in your life. And we ask you to share it with your friends as well who might need to hear the Word of God through music. And so we begin our concert with fanfare, hymn, and thanksgiving by Dudley Bright.
Up next is a wonderful arrangement of Bringing in the Sheaves by William Himes, followed by a march called Temple 85 by Norman Bearcroft. Norman Bearcroft brought the Canadian Staff Band back into existence in 1969 and provided leadership for the group for seven years and is well known in the Salvation Army world for his leadership, his wonderful compositions, his sense of humor, and just overall inspiration to serve God. And so by performing Temple 85, we want to honor the life and legacy of Norman Bearcroft. We hope you enjoy these next two items. Thank you. 
I wrote the euphonium solo Live Right, mainly with the song I Want to Live Right in Mind, a song that reflects the importance of living right for God. This song is in the slow middle section of the piece. I have also included in this piece God's Love is So Wonderful in Solid Rock to show that God's love gives us a solid foundation to live on as a Christian believer. I am more than happy and excited that the CSB is premiering the solo with Cameron Rawlins as a euphonium soloist. During my short time in Canada, I was supposed to play with the CSB and I'm more than sad that it did not work out due to the pandemic. But I'm so happy and excited that the CSB can continue its ministry despite how difficult life is at the moment. Thanks very much for using this piece to minister to people around the world. You are all in my thoughts and my prayers.
Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's table land, a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. These are words referenced in this next composition called Lord, Lift Me Up by Major Ken Smith. Major Ken Smith is an alumni of the Canadian Staff Band and served many years as Deputy Bandmaster. And we lift Ken up in prayer right now as he is recovering from injuries sustained earlier this year. So we hope you are blessed by and enjoy Ken Smith's Lord Lift Me Up.
In keeping with our Thanksgiving theme, the next piece is called I Will Enter His Gates by Neil Silverberg. Following that, we're going to feature Rob Brown on the tuba playing the very familiar theme and variation solo at the Carnival of Venice, arranged and accompanied by Bill Way. Enjoy.
The next item on the program is a cornet duet arranged by William Himes, performed by myself and Emily Ewing. It's based on the hymn, Great is Thy Faithfulness, and the words are, Great is thy faithfulness, O God my Father, there is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not, thy compassion they fail not, as thou hast been, thou forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. I pray we know and feel that faithfulness and God's presence in our lives today.
And so how do we respond to God's faithfulness? There is no shadow of turning with thee. All that I needed, thy hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. How do we respond to that? How can it be anything other than gratefulness, adoration, and praise? The psalmist writes in Psalm 117, Hallelujah et Adonai kol goyim. Translated for us, praise the Lord, all you nations. And goes on to say, extol him, all you peoples, for great is his love towards us. And the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. The shortest psalm in scripture, but a powerful call to respond. Eugene Peterson, in his rendering of Psalm 117, writes, Praise God, everybody. Applaud God, all people. His love has taken over our lives. God's faithful ways are eternal. Hallelujah. When we recognize God's faithfulness to us, God who is holy, 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 and us who are called to be holy, the psalmist calls out to us, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. How can you do anything else but praise the Lord? In the town of Bethlehem, in the middle of the 4th century, St. Jerome translated the Old Testament scriptures into Latin. And so when he comes to this very short verse, he reads, Hallelujah et Adonai, and he writes, Laudate Dominum. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's fitting that the Canadian staff band will conclude with a musical item composed by Edward Gregson, Variations on Laudate Dominum. Commissioned for the 1976 British tour of the London Citadel Band under the leadership of Edward's brother, Bramwell, and premiering at the Royal Albert Hall. A response of God's faithfulness is called for. And it all comes together when the music calls out to us the words of Sir Hubert Perry's hymn, O Worship the King. O Worship the King, all glorious above. O gratefully sing his power and his love. Our shield and defender, the ancient of days, pavilioned in splendor and girded with praise. O tell of his might and sing of his grace, whose robe is the light, whose canopy space his chariots of wrath and deep thunderclouds form and the dark in his path on the wings of the storm. Your bountiful care, what tongue can recite? It breathes in the air, it shines in the light. It streams from the hills, it descends from the plain and sweetly distills in the dew and the rain. O oh, measureless might, unchangeable love, whom angels delight to worship above, your ransom creation with glory ablaze in true adoration selves shall sing to your praise. Laudate Dominum. Praise God, everybody. Applaud God, all people. His love has taken over our lives. God's faithful ways are eternal. Hallelujah. Laudate Dominum.
Thank you for joining us tonight. We hope you've been blessed by our efforts. And like we said earlier, please share with friends and family and anybody who might need to hear God's word through music at this time. We'll be back on November the 7th for a special Remembrance Day edition. And until then, good night and God bless.